Astronomers and cosmologists have always been fascinated with the universe because of its vast variety of stars, galaxies, and other celestial wonders. But a recent discovery has shocked cosmologists. They think they comprehend the universe's beginnings and how it has changed over time quite well, but there is a discrepancy between two estimates of how quickly the universe is expanding right now, and that may be the first indication that they will need to significantly change their understanding of the universe. You may have heard about the crisis in cosmology. The main reason for the cosmological crisis is that different methods for determining the age of the universe are giving different results, and cosmologists have no clue why. The situation has gotten worse recently due to new research conducted with the James Webb Space Telescope. The glaring inconsistency is still there, even after Webb improved earlier estimates of the expansion rate using information from the Hubble Space Telescope. The expansion rate of the universe is measured by the Hubble constant, which is named after astronomer Edwin Hubble. The age of the universe is then determined by cosmologists with the help of this rate of expansion. The difference between the values of this constant, which were determined using the most advanced techniques available to cosmologists, has led to the current crisis in cosmology. In fact, the difference in the value suggests that the universe's age could vary by roughly a billion years. The first and more indirect method used was studying the cosmic microwave background radiation. Space is filled with the remnants of the Big Bang's electromagnetic radiation, or the CMBR. In order to estimate the age of the universe that would cause this evolution, cosmologists selected an imprint of the early universe from a period just after the Big Bang and compared it to a current model. The value we get for the Hubble constant is this, with an estimated age of 13.8 billion years. Using variable stars like Cepheids, the second method takes a more direct approach to determining the value of the Hubble constant. These stars are variable, and their fluctuation can be used to determine the distances to nearby galaxies and ultimately to galaxies farther away, creating a kind of distance ladder. Instead, Cosmologists use type 1a supernovas to detect galaxies that are too distant. By comparing the intrinsic brightness of the supernovas to the brightness seen by telescopes, researchers are able to calculate their distance. Using this technique, the value of the Hubble constant was determined to be this, resulting in an estimated universe age of 14.5 billion years. Thus, the Hubble constant refers to the rate of expansion of the universe, but the discrepancy between the outcomes of the two methods is known as the Hubble tension, and this is known as the crisis in cosmology. But this crisis gets even worse. Despite advances in astronomical research, one fundamental question remains. How is matter distributed in the universe today? This question arises from the inconsistent findings of multiple cosmic observations. Astronomers and researchers have struggled to reconcile their differing perspectives on the current distribution of matter, giving rise to the unexplained S8 tension, a measure of the lumpiness or matter clumping in the universe. The structure of the far-off primordial cosmos can be precisely estimated by low redshift data, including weak gravitational lensing surveys. Still, the values obtained from low redshift observations do not agree with the value of S8 calculated from the mainstream model of cosmology, which is based on measurements of the cosmic microwave background. The S8 tension arises from this discrepancy. There is obviously something that defies our understanding, refusing to line up with a wide range of theories, observations, and the hypothetical entities that support those theories. Astronomers used one of the most potent supercomputers on the planet to run the biggest cosmological simulations yet in order to solve this puzzle. The Full Hydro Large Scale Structure, or Flamingo Project, at Durham University in the United Kingdom, is a supercomputer with 30,000 processors. This project's magnitude becomes apparent when one realizes that the simulations required over 50 million hours of computer time. The goal of these simulations was to offer a thorough solution. Unlike earlier simulations that solely considered how dark matter would affect the universe's evolution, the impacts of dark energy, the unexplained energy source driving the acceleration of the universe's expansion, are also included in Flamingo. To test their theories, cosmologists utilize simulations like Flamingo, 
where they adjust the parameters to discover which combinations result in universes that mirror our current understanding of the cosmos. The Flamingo simulations open a new virtual window on the universe that will help make the most of cosmological observations. Furthermore, the large amount of virtual data presents chances for testing new techniques for data analysis, such as machine learning, and for making new theoretical findings. Astronomers can then predict random virtual universes using machine learning. They measure the values of cosmic parameters by comparing these with large-scale structure observations. Furthermore, by comparing with data that limits the impact of galactic winds, they are able to calculate the relevant uncertainties. The most complex flamingo simulation is an order of magnitude larger, taking place in a region of space covering over 9 billion light-years on a side, filled with 300 billion particles, each the size of a tiny galaxy. But Flamingo is special in more ways than merely the simulation's enormous scale. It also takes into account the effects of normal and dark matter. Many earlier simulations, such as the Millennium Simulation, focus just on dark matter, the invisible material that makes up around 85% of all matter in the universe. Theorists suggest that cold dark matter hardly interacts, thus it can be modeled only by gravity, which makes it computationally convenient. However, it turns out that normal matter cannot be ignored, even if it only makes up 15% of the universe's material. For example, these supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies produce magnetic fields that force matter back out into space because they feed on normal matter. The intergalactic material that these winds collide with influences the formation of new galaxies. This means that cosmologists must include fluid dynamics, a branch of physics that requires a lot of computing power in their simulations, and Flamingo is the largest to do this. However, even this all-encompassing approach, which considered the most extreme processes, failed to explain the weak clumping of matter observed in the present-day universe. Professor Jup Shea of Leiden University expressed his bewilderment, stating that, here I am at a loss. While the simulation was a significant step forward, it did not provide a definitive solution to the S8 tension. Cosmologists remain uncertain about the origin of this tension, which leaves room for a range of fascinating possibilities. The team speculates that the conventional model of cosmology, or even the standard model of physics, may have flaws, or that the impacts of normal matter may be more significant than previously believed. They propose that dark matter may have strange self-interacting properties not found in the standard model, which may indicate a breakdown in our understanding of gravity at the biggest scales. Although the Flamingo Project simulation was unable to solve the S8 tension, it did provide insight into the complexities of the matter distribution in the universe. These results offer cosmologists important new information and could point to possible inaccuracies in existing data helping to solve the mystery of this enigmatic cosmic phenomenon. As they look for solutions, astrophysicists and cosmologists are considering the possibilities of new physics and a revision of the standard model. The mysterious S8 tension serves as a reminder that there is still much to learn about the universe as we continue to investigate its secrets. It also presents chances for groundbreaking discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the cosmos. With powerful telescopes like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which recently took data that confirms and deepens the Hubble tension, astronomers will need observatories like James Webb and highly detailed simulations like Flamingo working together to resolve these conflicts in the standard cosmological model, or maybe develop a new one. What do you think about it? Do share your view in the comments section. Also, if you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching.